Hi there everyone, my name is Nisa Sabrian. I am a registered nurse. I was tasked with the privilege in sharing some fun facts of breast cancer. Since we all know this month, it is Breast Cancer Month Awareness, or for some persons they may know it as Pinktober. Now before I do get into the fun facts of breast cancer, I just like to take a moment in saying I do empathize with the persons who are fighting the fight of cancer, those who are recovering from a surgery due to cancer, or those who have, may have lost a loved one to cancer. Just know that I empathize with you and that you are not alone. We're all fighting this fight together. Now, I'll be sharing on the risk factors of breast cancer and also the early signs of breast cancer. I'll first start off with the early signs of breast cancer. I'll be placing emphasis on three points. The first one being that if you notice that there are lumps in your breasts or under your arm, right? I'm going to repeat that. If you notice that there are lumps in your breasts or under your arm, just know that is considered to be abnormal, okay? Secondly, if you notice that your breast is getting sized and out of shape, that also is an indication that you need to get it checked out and there's a possibility of you having breast cancer. Thirdly, if you notice that your breast is red, swelling, very painful, and it's becoming discolored, you need to get that checked out. That also is an early sign of breast cancer. Now, when I speak about the discoloration of the breast, I'm not speaking in terms of around the areola, where the nipple is. I'm speaking about the entire breast. If you have noticed that the entire breast is becoming dark in complexion, you need to get that checked out. Now, I'm going to speak about the risk factors of breast cancer that actually makes a person susceptible of developing breast cancer. Now, the first one that we have on the list is having a family history. Now, when we ask or we talk about family history, we're not talking about you having a great aunt or a great cousin, right, having breast cancer. We're talking about your first-hand relatives, like your mother, your sister, your daughter, your first-hand relatives. So whenever they ask, have you have any family history of breast cancer? You think about your mom, you think about your sister, or your daughter, okay? Um, secondly, you have hormonal factors. Now, under hormonal factors, we look at early menarche. Now, when I speak about early menarche, I'm speaking about those young ladies that see their menstruation before the ages of 12. Um, secondly, late menopausal stage. Those are women who reach menopausal stage after the age of 55. They are at risk also. Now, there is something called nulliparity. Now, nulliparity is when a woman is unable to take the pregnancy to full term. And full term is considered after 37 weeks, right? Now, women who are unable, right, to take a pregnancy to full term, they are at risk of developing breast cancer. And that is known as nulliparity. Um, fourthly, women who have children or have their first pregnancy after the age of 30, they are at risk of developing breast cancer also. So please, ladies, don't wait till after the age of 30 to have your first child, right? Just try to make a child. If you want to make a child, don't wait until after the age of 30 because you wouldn't be able to enjoy that child because you would be at risk of developing breast cancer, okay? Um, so those are just a few of the hormonal factors. Now, there is obesity also, right? They say that under obesity, right? Obesity and weight gain during the adulthood 
it increases postmenopausal breast cancer. Reason being is that during menopausal stage, estrogen, which is a hormone that is produced by our body, right? It is primarily produced in the fatty tissues. So if you have high levels of or a lot of fat, right? You're going to have high levels of estrogen in your fatty tissues, which is going to put you at high risk of developing breast cancer. Now, those are just a few risk factors that I have pinpointed. Now, I do hope that the information that I have shared here with you guys, that you can, you can probably read up more on it, right? And you can expand on your knowledge of breast cancer. And I do hope that what I have shared with you is very much edifying and you will try to take things a bit more serious. So thank you for listening.